always a roller coaster ride these days with the property sector. I mean, last week we had so much optimism that perhaps the worst was over. What's happening with Xi Mao right now? Well, I think the broader context here is that, in fact, all of the rebounds or so the rallies that we've seen for property have all been relatively tentative, even when we have seen sort of much more optimism sort of sentiment wise. At, at Shema particularly, um, yesterday we now also have this sort of transaction between two units of the firm that essentially transferring cash from the property, uh, the management unit to the developer sort of level of things. And uh, JP Morgan out with quite a sort of uh, uh, explicit note saying that this raises corporate governance red flags that it also implies liquidity issues and that's really compounded concerns that essentially there isn't a lot of visibility into Shumal. so for many many months we've seen the onshore bonds do sort of trade at much more heavily discounted levels than the offshore which always suggests that some kind of uh, asymmetry of information now we are seeing offshore bonds plummet some of them now at record lows um, and the concern really is that a firm like Shumal which still carries one investment grade rating, which, you know, earlier in this year passed all three red lines, that a firm like Shumal could now be facing issues and potential uh, concerns about its repayment obligations, that could, of course, indicate much broader concerns across the sector. And it could, in fact, be a little bit more destabilizing than the crises that we saw at Evergrande and Kaiser, simply because those were so long awaited. Well, what's Shima saying about all this? Because it does have a note due on Friday which it says it can pay and blames all of this on rumours. So, so what's their side of the story? Yes, yeah, so about 30 million dollars, uh, sorry, excuse me, 30 million yuan um, that it needs to pay out standing on that bond. But I think further out, you know, we have more than 2 billion coming due uh, through that. And so that's really going to be the focus for investors. Shimao has said that all of these, uh, the kind of price drop in its shares and bonds have been driven by rumors um, and that, you know, sort of trying to, to, to push back against that. But really, there hasn't been a great deal of clarity from Shimao. And I think from an investor point of view, there's still sort of needs to be a much broader conversation and of course any issues of governance really I mean there has been such a crisis of confidence among many many investors over the last sort of six months to a year when we see sort of the issues that have been happened at Fantasia for example or Al UN where some investors have been essentially taken by surprise about the financial health of these firms you know this is not an environment where investors are particularly willing to be patient or particularly willing to give developers benefits of the doubt and that certainly is weighing further on prices for Shamal.